Well, hello, curl friends and guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. And if this is your first time joining me, thank you very much for coming by. And I hope you will subscribe. Um, hit the uh, little bell next to the subscribe button and you will get notifications every time I upload a video. And for those of you who have been tracking with me for the last plus or year plus couple of months, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. And today I want to talk to you about my very dry hair. This is a uh, four day old twist out. I did this the other day and I had been traveling as some of you know if you have been looking at my videos and you know I had been traveling, had been on the road. I am back in Canada and I have been back in Canada for about seven days now or six days today and my hair is a little bit dry. Now I did wash it uh, the other day but the, the climate here is a little bit different, so my hair is a little bit dry. So what I did was I made up a little solution here in my pink bottle of um, water, glycerin, vegetable glycerin, and um, aloe vera juice, not gel, juice. So that's what this is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very simple. Like I said, I just washed my hair, and I don't want to wash it again just yet. Uh, but I, it does need to be moisturized. Now, my hair, uh, when I put water on it, it's not going to curl up. You know, I, God bless these women that do these wash and goes where they just wet their hair and give it a shake like a shaggy dog. And then all of a sudden they got, boom, they got these curls that just pop out everywhere. Yeah, that ain't my story. Okay. You're going to see my story here in a second. What I want to tell you to do is before you start doing your hair, if you remember, to take off any rings that have high crowns on them like this because you don't want it to snag in your hair. Um, my wedding bands are a little bit lower so I don't really worry about that. Anyhow, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray my hair, get it moisturized, and you will see what's going to happen to it. <laughs> it's amazing. I really need to give it a good spray. I don't want it dripping wet, but I do need to put enough water on here where it actually uh, soaks in because it is very, very, very dry. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a massage here to make sure that it's not wet or, or damp just in the middle of the strands, but it goes all the way down to the root of my hair. And I, I do kind of have, not a lot of product, but I do have some. Um, the last time I washed it, the other day, I used um, Cantu leave-in. And uh, what else did I use? Almond oil and some shea butter that I had made myself. So I didn't make the shea butter, but I mean, you know, my own formula. So what I'm trying to do right now is... Get some of the little curly cues out and you will see that I'm going to end up with a big old afro puff. <laughs> so, okay, so I'll be back in a second after I get all these little curly cues out and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I have managed to <clears throat> get most of the curly cues out of my hair. I know now I look like a Vulcan or something. Though, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to use some moisture butter by uh, Beautiful Textures Whipped Curl Cream. Now, uh, uh oh, wait a minute, y'all. Good night. There you go. I'm not going for curls, okay? But I don't want to just put this uh, stuff on my hair without trying to seal in the moisture somehow. So, and it smells really good. So um, I'm going to take a generous amount of this cream and rub it through my hair. I've gotten all the tangles out. This really smells good. I'm focusing on the ends of my hair. Now I'm going to 
I want it all through my hair, actually, because I don't want, you know, the ends of my hair to be okay and the rest of my hair is dry or the liquid has evaporated. So, um, when my hair was transitioning, if you remember some of my older videos, I kept my hair in two big braids most of the time. One on this side, one on this side is what I did. But now... My hair is just now starting to get to a length where I can do a little bit of something with it. Um, okay, so. And also, the top of my hair, this right here is, is much thinner than the rest of it. And uh, it's very, um, it's low density and it's straight. It's a lot straighter. In the very back, is very very thick it's thick it's like well it's thick <laughs> let's just say it like that now i could just go ahead and leave this like it is but let me put that away what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take a little bit of my sweet almond oil now this is not the company that's in this actual bottle i've used up this bottle I have a different company, I can't think of the name of it, that's a larger bottle, and I just refilled this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and I put about a quarter size in here. And I'm going to rub that through my hair. I've already said I got the tangles out and all the curly cues out. And you can see there is no wash and go with this sister, okay? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. And I tried it once, but what I what ended up happening was I have such tremendous shrinkage till it is like like that. <laughs> so so okay, so I've already um done what I need to do as far as getting tangles out. So now I'm gonna put a little bit more oil to put it in between different sections of my hair to make sure that all this moisture doesn't just evaporate real quickly. And then there's this. So, I'm just going to pop this on. Hopefully I don't look real crazy at the end of the matter. You guys let me know what you think. It's quick. <laughs> It's already combed out. And then I have this toothbrush that I use specifically for my hair. Um, I have hereditary cowlicks, is what some people call them, where you just got two little spots that's thinner than everything else around my hairline. So I like to just borrow some hair and put it on there and there you go so that's my afro puff i don't know what you think of it leave your comments in the comment section below let me know what you think of it this is just a really quick thing when you're in between washes and you've got frizz and you've lost your curl and all that and you want to look decent right you're going to walk out the house or you just want to walk past a mirror and not frighten yourself so this is what I do, and this is how it looks. And you can tell me what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you do for a quick refresh on your hair and what products you use. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, and please recommend my channel to someone else. I'll catch you next time. Bye.